Hello everyone, I'm Defesh3004. Welcome back to Planet Crafter. Thank you for coming to hang out with me. I always enjoy hanging out with you, so sit back, relax, enjoy the video, and let's get into some gaming. We are on our way to the mammal stage, as you know. We should be right around 70% right now, so we are just right over 70%. So it's coming up pretty quick. And hopefully we'll be able to get some stuff going. Before we do that, I want to come up to here. I was looking around a little bit and there's some things that we don't have that I would like to put in. And I'm thinking I'm going to do that in this area here. It's kind of barren. There's not a lot in here. We have our shredder machine over here and then we have our recycler here. And then there's of course a ladder over there. What I would like to do is put in some display cases that we can use to put in some of our different things that we've gotten. And I think that would actually look pretty good. We'll start by putting in some in random places and then, you know, continue as we go filling up areas and just seeing what all we can do and how many things we can put in. Looks like there's going to be six things in each one. Okay, that's pretty cool. I think that will work. That should be pretty good. I can put in a grand total of three for right now until I get more stuff, but I can get that super easy. So what I want to do is put in ores and different things, and let's start with the basic ores. That way we have those. So I'm going to take magnesium, iron, silicon, cobalt, titanium that's one two three four five and so those are the main ores that were and aluminum there we go that will be the six that we have in one of those and then we can set that up for just a base thing to put stuff in let's open the display case and i'm gonna start with these and i'll just go through and place them in like that Okay, so now we have one that has all of our different ores in it. That's awesome. That'll help. What I would like to do is get some of the other ores that we can mine so we can get those in there too. Iridium, uranium, um, osmium, since that kind of drops from the sky too, we'll get that. Let's go ahead and do pulsar quartz. And we do have sulfur. We can do one of those. These guys should just have different stuff in them that I just didn't have room anywhere else. And we can do a super alloy. So we have one, two, we have six there. So that'll be things that we have picked up. And I think that's going to be really good. Let's put that one in this one over here, I think. So we have different things in here. All right, so now we have quite a few more things, and I think that's going to be pretty doggone cool. Now, what I want to do in that one is some of our more specialty items. And what I mean is like osmium rods and those rods, a few of the different rods. That way we have those. Okay, that's three. And I don't know if we actually have any other rods. But we do have a super alloy rod. We can make one of those. We'll go down there. I think we have one down there, but I'm not sure. Let's go and do a quick check to make sure. I think we do, but if not, we can make one. That's not that big of a deal. Let's just go and see about doing that, and we will make a super alloy rod. What other kind of rods? It looks like there's only four rods that we can make, so we'll just go ahead and do the, do that. Okay, sweet. So now we have four rods. And what I want to do too is we already have one of these guys on us, a flare. And maybe we will put in like one of these production fuses or something since we have so many of those. We really don't need that. And then we can, of course, put in some bioplastic and other different things. So let's just go in and grab a production multiplier fuse. Kind of a rod shape, and I think that would be good in one of those. Let's put that in here. Sweet. Okay, and a flare, there we go. So now we have all six of those in there, and that way we have all the different things. I don't know if I'll put in any more fuses or not. We will have to go see. So to make these is all you need is cobalt iron and super alloy. And since we have quite a bit of that, we can just go and use some of our 
stuff. Maybe what I'm going to do is go ahead and put in three more, and then we'll see what all we add. I don't know yet exactly what we're going to do, but we will see once we get that far. I'll gather up these three things. We'll find out more places to put them. Oh, there's a super alloy rod. I knew we had some around here somewhere, but that's okay. At least we have that, and we can use that. What I would like to do, too, is there are other things that I want to put in there. And one of those things would, of course, be rocket engines. And maybe we can see about, like, different seeds and flowers and different things. We'll have to check that out for sure. But I'd like to put a lot of these things in there and just have that. Like these explosive powders. We could put a piece of ice. So if we take an explosive powder and we'll take some of this stuff that we have also made. We'll take one of each of these. Okay, we'll make a tier four as well. And that way we have that. We'll take a bacteria sample. What other things do we have that we have not put in there? We'll take the foods. Of course, we'll put the foods in there. So that way we have that as well. At least one of each. Okay, so for right now, I think that would be good. Let's go make a tier 4 bacteria sample, which should be in here. All right, so now we also have a tier 4. Let's go put in, uh, do we have any fertilizer? Even a tier 2 fertilizer would help. That would be good. Or maybe we can figure out something else like... Something that maybe would like be ah, bioplastic. We'll put a bioplastic in there. There we go. That'll work. All of that stuff will work in another one of those. So let's go ahead and set up more of those. And since they do stack side by side, you can have a whole row of them. And I think that's pretty awesome. So this will be the basic stuff. And let's just go ahead and put in some of these other things that we have. So we'll do these first. Put in a bioplastic and... I have another uranium rod, huh? Okay. Then we'll put in... Oh, okay, that's already full. So that's all of that stuff. Awesome. Let's come over to here. Now let's go ahead and do a explosive powder. And... I did put in a bioplastic. Okay, that's in there. We'll grab some of the other things. We'll put them in as well. I don't know if there's anything else. We can always put in a rocket engine. We'll see about larvas and different things. We just have to go and see before we do anything. We'll put in some ice. Should probably put in an algae, maybe a methane cartridge, and just kind of decorate the place a little bit while we're, you know, hanging out and stuff. Okay, we'll put in a tree bark so that we have some more. We're going to have to build some more of those, obviously. We're going to have to get some fabric also. And maybe we can also put in one of these nitrogen cartridges. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six things. I don't know if we have any other cartridges or anything like that to put in. Let's go see. I don't know of anything else. I don't think we put in a sulfur yet, so we can definitely put in a sulfur. Put in one of those and one of those. And then, of course, we'll put in some of the different eggs, and we'll just have the egg eggs. That way we don't have to worry about those at all. And then, of course, like I said, the flowers. So let's go see about decorating another one. Okay, sweet. Now, let's go see, if, since this one is going to be kind of like I don't know, tubular stuff. Maybe we can do something like this and then just have a couple of other things in there as well. So that way that looks very interesting. All right, I think that looks good. I think it's kind of colorful. It adds a little collection to it. We do have two different packets in there. You can't tell that they're different packets, but we do have two different packets in there. I'm going to grab some more and we'll build a few more cases in here and then we'll see where we are at that point. I do have some more things to put in. I did put in three more of these. So let's go ahead and over here. I guess this one has just that in it. Okay, well, I guess that we can, maybe we can swap this for something that is in here like the ice and then that way we'll hit we have that and that will be a little bit better and then we will come back over to here and we will put in the ice in here and then that way we have that 
and so we do have those and over here let me see what I want to do is probably over here go ahead and put in these are different tarot tokens so I'm going to go and put each one of the different kinds in there I will put in a circuit board and then I'll also put in a rocket engine so that way we have several different things that are kind of there don't know how else to say it but that way those things are there and then we'll put in that there I'm gonna I'm making some bee larva so I'm just gonna put some other random things in there and then over here I'm gonna put some different kinds of larva so I have a bee larva uncommon rare common and I'm gonna make a I'm making a silk worm larva hopefully that will be in there and then we can take that out don't know where he went to if he's in there or not he should be um cool there's a silkworm okay i wanted to put this guy in and since we also do have a couple of extra ones in here we have a near and we have a fiorente so let's go and take those out and let's put those in here we only have room for two more but we can put in at least a couple of them and then we can also set up some more so we have some larvas there and now I need to go get some more and I'll set up a few more. I can't really put any more on this side, but I can put some more on that side and that side. So I'll do that and we'll set up some more. I do have some more things to put into our display cases. Let's go and start with some of these guys here. We'll put in some of these ones. I've been making a few so that way we have them and then we have, can put those in there. And I'm probably going to go ahead and put in these three plankton so that we have those. And then that way we have different selection of stuff in there. Kind of wish they were the other way, but I guess they will work. And then over here we do have, how about a bunch of the fish eggs. And then there's also generic frog eggs. So that way we have those in there. So I have been collecting some stuff, trying to get some stuff going, trying to make some things happen. And so far, I think it's working pretty good. So far, we're making pretty good progress with that. Now, I want to put in food in some of them. So we're going to grab a little bit of the food. And then we can have that. Now, we do got to be careful because we are using quite a bit of the food to also make things. So, let me go gather some of that. We'll make some more of those and put that in. In this end one here that we have just before our staircase, let's just go ahead and put in some beans and some squash. We'll put in some honey. Okay, so let's do these basic foods first. So, we have all of those in there and then we'll put in a wheat i guess now let's come over to this one we'll put in a space food a high quality space food and a cocoa that way we have those sweet all right and then over here i am going to put in a tree bark and then i'll figure out some like other plants and whatever to start putting in and we're gonna have to probably put in about two more there and then I'll have to figure out another place to put some more in. But we can always line these walls here. That would work out too. So let me go put in some more and then we'll fill it out. So over here where this tree bark is, let's go ahead and put in these other flowers that we have. Okay, we don't have any goldens or the other ones that we have outside. I don't remember what they are, but we do have that. Now what I would like to do is probably just take these out now and let's go ahead and put in a pinga we'll try to figure out a place maybe over here and we'll put in these three over here then we have that so that way we have some other decent ones and then i can go around to gather some more eggs and stuff like that and continue decorating the place with these different things we also have several of these you know we can put in a blueprint microchip and that would actually i think work pretty good for one of the ones that we have okay there's a tree bark there i guess we can go and take this tree bark out we don't need that in there now where did we put there we go in here 
let's remove that and let's put in that that way all of those are all pretty much the same and then we can put in like a rocket engine in one of these or something and then we have that okay cool there we go that should work i don't see why not so we do have quite a bit of stuff going on here and i think that's really good we are kind of getting out of room but that's okay that's the way this goes now we are getting close to coming with some more stuff opening up and we can probably get some silk as well so i do want to put some silk in there i think we have one silk upstairs and we will of course take some fabric okay we do have a silk there and not too sure you know what we can put in a zeolite because i kind of forgot about that cool all right so now we have some good stuff we do have some stuff i do believe in some other things up here we do have some obsidian and there's the zeolite okay there's a super alloy let's just look through here we also have some of these we can put in some of these effigies that we have that are different ones that way we have these sweet all right i think we're doing pretty good and we might even want to put in an energy fuse multiplier so that way we have that we're going to pick up a lot of those as we go through those portals and stuff and that's a-okay too now we have all of that stuff there what i might do is see if there's a nice place that maybe we can put in a couple of things over here so let's just go in and put in one of those and one of those and then that way we have that and then in here we'll put in some effigies okay as far as i know those are the only effigies there may be another one downstairs but i don't know i gotta go see because i do know we have other different ones apparently we don't all the effigies are upstairs but we also have the cell. So let's go and put that in here too as well. Should we can put that. Well we'll just put the silk in there for right now. I think that will work. That should be good. It's going to not match everything. But that's okay. And then in here. So what do we have in here. These guys are doing okay. What I might do is. I do like the way that that looks. Though. It looks actually pretty cool. Let me go see. I will put in a fuse over here. And then we'll see about what all else we can find to put in. Because we're kind of getting low on stuff right now. And that's not necessarily a bad thing either. Let me go find out what all else I can do. I'm going to probably go grab one more thing. I think it's only going to help. We have not put any of that in. So we need to do that right now. And that thing is this fabric. Okay, sweet. Now we also have that one last thing. That will help. Because we do find fabric every now and then. Okay, sweet. So with these golden effigies. Oh wait, you know what? There is actually sulfur already in there. Okay, so we already have sulfur right up there. What that means is we can take this silk out. And I'm just going to slap that guy in there for right now. And I'll put the silk in there. All right, there we go. That looks a little bit better. I might actually want to move this also. So that way we have that over here. Since that would fit better with all of those other ones. And then we have this at least six different plants in there and then we can find some other thing that we can make and put in there but i don't know exactly what it is that we're gonna get so i'm gonna look around and see what i can find over here now let's just go ahead and put in these different seed types so we have those and we will just continue that right there and then we do have another effigy that i did find that match that will match those a little bit better Okay, uh, okay, sweet. So all the effigies are now different. And then we can come over to one of these over here. And then we will put in the fabric probably somewhere over in this area, I'm thinking. Okay, so we have that. And some of these may just may have to be a mishmash. And I think that's okay, too. There's nothing wrong with that. 
Now, what I'm going to have to do is definitely look around, try to find some more different uh, things to put in. And I don't know exactly what all I'm going to do yet. I haven't got that far, so let me go see what I can find. Don't even know what's over there. Okay, mushrooms, there's nothing in there. And what we can do as well is put in a water and put in an oxygen. And as far as I know, I think that's everything that we are having that we can put in. So there shouldn't be anything else. There is, of course, you know, the golden seed. And there's also one of those other seeds outside. Let's go take a look over here and let's go see which one it is. Because there's one that I would like to actually put in. And it's this one right here, this Volnus. But I don't want to take that out because those guys are actually really, really good. So I guess we're just going to leave that for right now. Maybe we'll run across some at some point in time. And I'm going to go around looking for different types of butterflies. And we'll put in these two things first. And I'll put some other stuff away. And then we'll see what we can gather to put in our display cases some more. While I was out and about, I did notice that I did find another one of the warden keys. So it is over here by where you go over to the other warden place. And now we have an extra one of those sweetness. So there are more than one. And I kind of wondered if there might have been when one of my subscribers said that there was. And we did find an extra one. So that's awesome. Now, I'm going to go back here to this warden place that's all the way back over here. The first one that we found and there should be a key place somewhere around here since everything has changed out here so much it's really hard to find things you know when everything changes but it should be around here somewhere so all I gotta do is find the dad burn place again all right I just got back. I did find one, I, and I got got an album, and then we have the Gerrero fish eggs now, so that's good. Let me just go ahead and put these guys in there. Okay, now I do have the Gerrero one. I'm gonna slap that guy in there, so that way we have that. And now we can make the Alban fish eggs. I'm not too sure what that's gonna take. Let's go take a quick looky looky loo. 78%, almost 79% to mammals, so we're doing pretty good now. Let's see. For the Gerrero, where are the Gerrero? Gerrero, we need B, Tier 3, and Fertilizer. So let's go in and get this stuff in. Let's go up here. So what I did is I put the Warden Key in there. And then I also put the oxygen and the water in there. And of course, you know, we already know about that stuff. And then over here, I went ahead and I put the albin in that we found. And I also found a Futara, so I put that in there. And now we have quite a few more things going on here. What I would like to do is get some more tree seeds, but I don't know exactly where I'm going to find out those at. So at least we have a good little display section going on that has some of our other things in here. And maybe, if we're lucky, there's a possibility that we could probably go over to the cooker, wherever the heck that is, over here. And maybe we can do, like, some of these other things. So if we can get some of these fish eggs and different things, we can probably do like this. Let me go see about gathering some things, and we'll try to make some of these things. I did get the Gerrero fish out of here. We did actually make one, so we have that right now in our inventory. Let's go up and let's go see, because I do believe that in this one over here, okay, so probably be right up here, that we do have one that doesn't have a mate. Let's go ahead and put that one in here. So now we have another fish, and then of course we have a Galbia, which we haven't made anything with. But now we have another new fish, and that's pretty awesome. So I'm getting ready to make the little bit more food that we have right now. So let's go ahead and make a birthday cake. We can't eat it, 
but this is from their first birthday. So let's go ahead and make this. Sweet. So now we have that. Now we can take this and we can put this into our display cases. And then we'll go over to the display cases here in a quick minute. So we do have a lot of food now. And we can put that in here. Okay, we can put in one more item, but I got to figure out what I'm going to put in here. So you can see that we have flour and chocolate, croissant, honey cooked beans, a birthday cake. And then in here, I put in the different quartzes. This we have pulsar, magnetar, blazar, solar, solar, and quasar. And then, of course, you know what we have over here. So I also did find another uh, effigy. There's this one here. And then I did put in the obsidian and the zeolite in there. And then over in here, I put away a few more things. I did find a another good flower. I found an orema and a golden seed that I had. So I still need to put something else in there. And then most of these guys will be filled. And then I have these over here. This one looks empty, but it's actually the Prunia tree seed, tree seed, not true seed, tree seed. So we do have that. Now, there was something that crashed. I don't know what it is, but I guess we'll find out when we get that far. So I traded in a whole bunch of Terra tokens. Let's go take a quick look. And right now I have 29,805. So current inventory value 72. And we have a whole bunch of different things that we can buy that are going to probably help us out a lot. What I can do is maybe get some of these other things that won't really be costing a lot. So let's go ahead and do a Filaria. We will do that. And let's go ahead. Ooh, tier two locker, huh? Nice. You know what? Let's put let's buy one of those two. And we'll take that. And that's gonna be about half of our stuff right there. And then we'll wait for this guy to come back. So we're gonna have that stuff that will be coming back once this is launched. And he's getting fairly full. So once those guys get done then we will be able to have a lot more stuff and now we can go see about some other things that are happening too so we're getting close now i've been keeping busy doing stuff we're at 89 percent and all of the other things over here are coming up really really well we will be opening this up at one for the tier four jetpack and then here in a little bit we'll be opening up the genetic extractor and the tier two aquarium at 42 Things still have a little ways to go, but not terribly far. And at 125, we'll do the animal shelter. And at 13, we'll have the tier 3 ore extractor. And then this is the last thing underneath the animals, but it's going up pretty doggone quick. So we are going to be opening stuff up really, really soon. And that is going to help out a lot. This is Planet Crafter, and thank you for joining me here. We have a whole bunch of display cases now that are displaying all of our goods. And I really do like that, so I think that is pretty awesome. If you enjoyed the episode, drop a like on the video. This is all that we really did, but doing this was a lot of work. I did make some other fish and things like that and some other food, so we'll finish filling this out with some other food. And then we will find some other things. I'll probably just line these with those two. And we'll see what all else we do. So for right now, I think we've done all that we can do. And we'll wait for those other things to show up. And then we will continue this next time. You have a great day. And if you enjoyed the episode, drop a like on the video. And I will talk to you next time. Bye-bye.